Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. I am Sefian FM bringing you yet another tactic that we are going to take a look at today. Uh, we covered the Nap Holy Ghost Fire tactic last week and we saw how absolutely dominating it was uh, with top of the table Liverpool, third place Newcastle, and sixth place Norwich. Uh, I'm absolutely dumbfounded that Norwich got to sixth place. But this time around, we're going to be using the same teams, uh, but change the tactic up a little bit. So the, the format is still the same, tactic has, is the only thing that's changed. Since the last video did fairly well, I kind of wanted to comb through the internet and see what the most downloaded tactic has been for FM22. Uh, the one I found with so far, and not including all the different downloads of all the different sites that we've seen, uh, but the one I saw is over 150,000 downloads uh, and probably still climbing. The one we are looking at today is called the Maskajon 442 Asphyxiating Tactic. Say that five times fast. So if we take a look at the tactic, it is a fairly simple 442 using two complete forwards uh, in support, two wingers in attack, two central supporting midfielders, two inverted wingbacks in support, and then two central defenders with a sweeper keeper behind. Now, custom Tilpaset Tikitaka Personalizado. I don't know why it's named that way, but you've got custom Tilpaset, which means customized, and Personalizado, which means personalized. I don't know why that's in there three times, um, but that's what I downloaded. So it is a custom Tiki Taka, just like the Nat Poli Ghost Fire that I downloaded the last time and used, uh, but obviously 442 and everything else is different. So this time it's an attacking mentality instead of a positive mentality. Uh, and as you can see, so if we look at the personalized instructions on the left, you have shoot less often, tackle harder, mark, mark tighter. On the right, you have tackle harder, mark tighter, uh, pass it shorter is the addition there. Wingers. Tackle harder, mark tighter, same as on the, both sides. Central midfielders, uh, left has nothing, right has pass shorter, take more risk, shoot less off, and tackle harder, mark tighter. Obviously, with this, you're going to want to customize your character, your players to this a little more. Um, inverted wingbacks, pass it shorter, take more risk, dribble more, shoot less off, and get further forward, close down more, tackle harder, mark tighter. Same thing on the other side. Central defenders, pass it shorter, close down less, and then sweeper keeper, take fewer risk, tackle harder. In possession, you have fairly wide, pass into the space, overlap on the left and right, play out of defense, uh, shorter passing directiveness, and extremely high tempo. Work the ball in the box, as I have seen, never works, but hey, might as well throw it in there. Run at defense, getting into transition, counter press, counter, uh, distribute both to the fullbacks, and then throw it long. Out of possession, you can see, use the offside trap. There's a higher li line of engagement, higher defensive line, use tighter marking, prevent short goalkeeper distribution, and get stuck in. Now, as we did in the last tactic talk, what we're going to do is we're going to go on vacation for the entire season, force the assistant coach to utilize this tactic throughout everything, um, not worry about transfers at all, and we'll see how we do at the end of the season. So let's see how we do. So here we are, May 31st, 2022. I am bringing it back earlier than I did last time. Hopefully not going to see all those issues that I saw the last time. As you can see, Liverpool yet again absolutely dominate the league. 34-1, one draw, three loss. Who do they lose to? Leicester, Chelsea, and Arsenal. They drew against Brentford. Interesting. And then they crushed everyone else. 103 points, absolute domination. However... Look at Newcastle and Norwich. Norwich coming up in the ninth place, 18, 5, and 15. That is a lot of losses uh, with 59 points. And Newcastle in 12th, 14, 6, and 18 with 48 points. And you can see they just ended the season horrifically. Norwich kind of in and out. Overall, Liverpool have done the exact same. Norwich has done a lot well they both Norwich and Newcastle have done worse than the previous tactic and the nap tactic however Norwich still ninth place is a fantastic finish expected 20th so Newcastle however was expected 10th and has finished 12th not too far off their projected target but still fairly big difference between the nap tactic and this one so let's see how they do individually so we already know that they've absolutely dominated the league um, just a sea of green Brentford at the end, maybe some, I mean, it's an away game, maybe some tired legs, some injuries, but again, comparison wise, Liverpool beating Newcastle at home two nil away from home at Norwich four to two. So, I mean, these teams are, they are conceding some goals, Newcastle away from home five, one absolute domination. Uh, and apparently early in the season at home four, two, wow. Norwich four, two each time, and they're getting some goals. So. 
And then as you can see, Norwich against the other teams. We already know that they lost to Liverpool. Newcastle 6-2 to two away from home. Wow. That is pretty hefty. Uh, another 4-2 loss to Liverpool. And then two all draw at home. So interesting set of results there. Definitely different, uh, slightly different than the previous tactic. Uh, how do they do, though, in all of the competitions altogether? So Liverpool, we've already seen, have won the league. And as you can see here, beating Everton in penalties, the Carabao Cup final. I know it's not the biggest of trophies, but hey, that's a double for Liverpool this time around. 8-1 over Derby. Ouch. That is a hell of a match. Carabao Cup for Norwich. Unfortunately lost in the quarters to Everton. On penalties as well. Uh, at least they got a couple of wins in there. Sheffield United. Wow, Newcastle dropping out at the third round. We don't even have to go there. Portsmouth 4-1. Um, not, well, I mean, for, for Norwich, who should be bottom of the league, that's, that's a fairly good run through. So Everton beating them in quarters and then losing out to Liverpool. And just to see it, they did crush Stoke away from home 4-0. But as we saw, Norwich, two three winners uh, in the Carabao Cup third round. And that's Newcastle's Carabao Cup. Sticking with Newcastle in the FA Cup, though. Wow, 1-6 to six to Liverpool in the final. So Newcastle didn't do very well in the Carabao Cup. However, did bring it back fairly nicely. I mean, you do have Bournemouth, Huddersfield, Luton. Um... So they, they don't have the strongest of opponents. So Newcastle dropping out to Liverpool in the FA Cup semifinal, which means Liverpool has gone to the final yet again. Now, how did they do? Well, beating Chelsea 3-0 in the FA Cup final, Liverpool have come away with their third trophy of the season. They've got one more to go through. Can they get the quadruple? But if we look here, I mean, oh, Hull 2-1, Brentford 2-1. Okay, these two um, are kind of lower on the totem pole. Fulham 2-0. Manchester United 4-0, no longer that dominating side that we saw in the, the nap tactic. Newcastle crushing them at Wembley 6-1, and then Chelsea 3-0. Now, the other two teams did not have any European qualifications, so Liverpool get the quadruple. Look at the Champions Cup run. No losses whatsoever. They only drew to Atletico Madrid 0-0, and then they drew to Atletico Madrid again 1-0. Uh, it seems almost like the Bayern of last time. But absolute dominations. I mean, wow. 7-1 over Dynamo, 4-0 over Dynamo, 5-2 over Benfica, 4-1 Benfica, 8-2 against Madrid, and then 2-1 over Inter yet again. Did I think they, they beat Inter a little bit handier in the nap tactic discussion, but 2-1 in the Champions League final. That is the absolute quadruple for Liverpool. This is a dominating side. So just a quick review. Newcastle finishing in 12th, unfortunately, uh, knocked out of the semi-cup final of the FA Cup by Liverpool, and then knocked down the third round by Norwich City in the Carabao Cup. If we go to Norwich, if we go to competitions, ninth place, we just saw 59 points, English FA Cup knocked out in the quarters by Chelsea, and then knocked out by the quarters by Everton in the Carabao Cup. And then you come to Liverpool and just absolutely dominating everything. Liverpool champions of England once again with 103 points. Winners of the Friendly Cup. Again, whatever. Um, champions League trophy. English FA Cup trophy. And then Carabao Cup trophy. Uh, this is, I mean, absolutely yet another insane Liverpool season. That's why I use Liverpool instead of Manchester United or Manchester City. And then finally, player stats, goals. Most goals of the season, 27 with Salah. Timo Pukki. With, at Norwich of 22, average rating, Trent Alexander-Arnold is absolutely a beast in this game. Uh, unfortunately, has sucked horrifically this actual season. But 7.70 average rating, Van Dyke with a 7.57, and Kanate with a 7.57. That's impressive. Assist with 13, Alexander-Arnold, and then Giannoulis at Norwich at 12. Um, player of the match, 7 with uh, Mosala, Bruno Fernandes at 11, and Rodrigo with leads with 8. So... Allison with shutouts, 17. So fairly topping things in that respect. Overall, an interesting take. Uh, I definitely think the nap tack is better. Obviously, it worked a little better. Um, Norwich and Newcastle, if you're kind of the mid to lower teams, I would definitely prefer the, the nap tactic, Holy Ghost Fire tactic to this. Uh, unless you just have teams that have those players that work. But that is the Maskajon 442 download. Uh, I will have a link in the description below. So check it out if you want.
to have your own test uh, somewhere else in Europe, in Germany or Italy, in France, whatever you want to do, let us know how it works for you. And if you have a tactic that you want to check out, let us know in the comments below where we can download it and we'll check it out. But I am Savvy and FM for the Football Manager Blog channel saying thank you very much for watching. Take care and enjoy. Thank you.